Welcome once again to the uh, session on tor torsion by Dr. Uh, Jagadish. So you may please take over the session. Am I audible, madam? No, okay. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Now you are audible, sir. Hope uh, you are clear with uh, whatever we have discussed in previous session about uh, uh, theory of torsion uh, and the uh, simple problem with respect to theory of torsion. Uh, now I am going to discuss about uh, in continuum of that. Uh, that is uh, the problem associated with uh, bending and torsion. This is the continuum of whatever we have discussed earlier. Um, this will last for another uh, half an hour to one hour, uh, 45 minutes to one hour. Uh, since it is uh, afternoon time, I want to try to make this presentation as a catchy one. That's why the thing whatever i covered which will have uh, a clear view of uh, what you are practicing in teaching field mm. in this session we are going to discuss about combined bending moment and torsion of a shaft then uh, two more headings uh, power transmitter to shaft uh, in series and in parallel uh, the topic that i'm going to show or discuss is um, and the twisting moment and bending moment uh, with respect to shaft alone that's what the introduction says and then uh, combined bending and torsion uh, shaft is transmitting torque or power it is subject to shear stress definitely as per your theory of torsion uh, the metal is subject to shear stress at the same time shaft is also subject to a bending moment due to either uh, gravity or uh, inertia loads or some lateral loads which is applying on that material or that shaft due to bending moment the um, shaft is subject to bending stress and also uh, which sets up in a shaft um, hence each uh, shaft is subject to shear stress and bending stress uh, for design purpose it is necessary to find principal stresses maximum shear stresses and strain energy the we are not going to discuss about uh, much about that uh, energy part the principal stresses and maximum shear stresses when a shaft is subjected to bending and torsion we will discuss uh, as per uh, your uh, simple bending moment theorem um, uh, as per your uh, equation which can be derived from simple bending moment theorem that uh, uh, as you know very much shear stress at any point due to torque p is given by uh, q divided by r that is q is nothing but shear stress at that particular point uh, which is located at a distance um, small r from center of the shaft and uh, capital T is the torque at that section and J is the polar moment of the uh, polar moment of this inertia about that uh, circular shaft from which we can calculate the shear stress uh, at that particular section Q is equal to capital T divided by uh, J capital J into R um, from simple bending moment theorem uh, you know that M by A R is equal to F by Y then I needed F that is bending stress which is nothing but M into Y is equal to I here it is a bending stress whereas in uh, uh, torsional theory it is a shear stress uh, then uh, tan theta which is equal to 2 phi divided by uh, bending stress um, the bending stress and shear stress is maximum at a point on the surface of the shaft where uh, radius uh, R is equal to D divided by 2 uh, then Y is equal to D divided by 2 uh, from simple bending theory you, you know m by a is equal to f by y that uh, y is taken as uh, d divided by 2 um, then i simplify it you can get uh, uh, bending stress as uh, 32 m uh, i is nothing but uh, moment of inertia of uh, circular section which can be given as uh, pi divided by 64 into d power 4 uh, if i if we substituted i value and y value and simplify it you can get as uh, maximum bending stress as 32 m divided by pi d cube where m is the moment of that shaft where capital D is the diameter of the shaft where tau is the maximum shear stress on the surface of the shaft mm, 
which can be given as uh, capital T divided by J torque divided by polar moment of inertia into radius of the shaft and the polar by substituting the value of polar moment of inertia and um, value for R that is a D divided by 2 and to simplify it you can get uh, uh, shear stress maximum shear stress as 16 T divided by pi D cube and then uh, as per uh, combined bending stress theory you know that uh, tan theta is equal to 2 tau divided by 5 Mm, uh, which is nothing but a bending stress, a shear stress by bending stress by substitute those value, you can get uh, T by M. Uh, major principal stresses states that uh, uh, sigma divided by 2 plus uh, square root of sigma divided by 2 whole square plus tau square. Mm, you know, sigma is nothing but bending stress by substituting value of bending stress in this major principal stresses and uh, shear stresses in this uh, maximum principal stresses. And uh, simplify it, you can get a uh, major principal stress as 16 divided by a uh, pi d cube uh, into m plus square root of m square into t square. And uh, the minimum, I'm sorry, minor uh, uh, principal stress as 16 divided by pi d cube into capital M minus uh, square root of m square plus uh, t square, mm, where maximum shear stress can be taken as a major principal stress minus minor principal stress divided by 2. Mm, and uh, if you simplify divided by subtract it and divided by 2 you can get the value as maximum shear stress as 16 divided by pi d cube and uh, into square root of m square in plus t square where m is bending moment and t is the torque uh, which is uh, taken from the shaft where capital d is the diameter of the shaft mm, for in the case of hollow shaft it can be say that major principal stresses can be calculated by formula uh, 16 d naught uh, divided by pi into d naught power 4 minus d i power 4 into m plus uh, square root of m square plus t square whereas uh, minor principal stress can be uh, given as 16 d naught divided by pi into d naught power 4 minus d i power 4 into uh, capital m minus uh, uh, square root of m square minus t square where uh, capital m is bending movement and t is the torque where uh, d i is the internal diameter of the hollow shaft where d naught is the uh, external diameter of the hollow shaft <coughs> <coughs> sorry mm, maximum shear stress can be calculated by the formula you know, by subtracting major and minor principal stress uh, divided by 2 and it can be obtained as uh, 16 d naught divided by pi d naught power 4 minus d i power 4 into uh, square root of m square plus t square mm. Uh, combined bending and torsion shaft subjected to combined twisting moment and bending moment and the shaft is subjected to both uh, bending and twisting moment and then shaft must be designed on basis of these two moments uh, um, parallelly various theories suggested that uh, in account of elastic failure of the material is subjected to various type of combined stresses uh, um, when you going to do this two thing you want to remember that the material should be ductile in nature as you know the type of failure which occur in uh, torsional is like it should be perpendicular to your main shaft it should not be inclined thing then uh, another thing is that it should be like uh, uh, the theory applied to this is uh, maximum shear stress theory and then uh, it should not be like uh, uh, case of cast iron where the material is uh, behaves like a brittle uh, in that in such cases uh, when you apply torsion in the shaft what happens with respect to failure is and the shaft will failure in inclined manner. Uh, this is with respect to maximum normal stress theory, but we will go with respect to maximum principal stress theory alone, uh, where tau max can be taken as uh, according to maximum shear stress theory, the maximum shear stress and the shaft can be calculated by a formula uh, tau max, which is equal to half of uh, square root of bending stress square minus uh, 4 t square, uh, 4 tau square, where tau max can be calculated by substituting maximum shear stress and maximum bending stress in this equation and simplified it you can get it as a, uh, pi by 16 into tau max into d power cube which is equal to square root of m square plus t square uh, where this m square plus t square is known as equal twisting moment and it is denoted by te in further steps and the equivalent twisting moment may be defined as that twisting moment which when acting alone produce the same shear stress as actual twisting moment by limiting the maximum shear stress equal to allow the shear stress for the material uh, where t is uh, given as uh, square root of pi square uh, m square plus t square uh, which is uh, given as pi by 16 into tau into d cube where small d is nothing but 
a uh, diameter of the shaft which is going to be evaluated and then uh, according to maximum normal stress theory uh, bending stress can be calculated as a half of uh, bending plus uh, bending stress plus 1 by 2 into uh, sigma b square plus 4 tau square by substituting bending stress and shear stress in this equation and simplified it you can get uh, as 32 divided by pi d cube into half into m plus m square square root of m square plus t square uh, and uh, further simplifying this equation the equivalent bending moment can be obtained as half into m plus square root of m square plus uh, t square um, which is denoted as by the term me the equivalent bending moment may be defined as the moment which when acting alone produce same tensile or compressive stress as the actual bending moment by uh, limiting the maximum normal stress uh, equal to the allowable bearing stress then the equation can be Uh, rewritten as me which is equal to pi divided by 32 into sigma b plus d cube which is nothing but equal to half of uh, capital m plus square root of m square plus t square uh, where m is the bending moment t is the twisting moment and d is the diameter of the shaft sigma b is bending stress of the shaft um, whereas for the hollow shaft the case may be slightly differ uh, that that can be given by an equation uh, in this notes um, Uh, T A, which is given as uh, pi by 16 into tau d cube into 1 minus k per 4, where k is a uh, ratio between uh, internal dia to external dia. Uh, similarly, for uh, equivalent bending moment M E um, can also be modified, uh, but uh, as per practical application, it is recommended to use uh, both the theories and find out the larger or diameter value. Um, then coming to the problem. there are again no four problems i'm going to solve in this uh, second heading where uh, the solid shaft of the diameter 80 mm is subject to a twisting moment of 8 mega newton mm and uh, bending moment of 5 5 mega newton mm at a point determine the maximum principal stress and position of the plane on which uh, they act hmm. it is given as a t value uh, 8 mega newton which is can be written as 8 into 10 power 6 whereas bending moment m Which can be represented as pi into 10 power 6. Then you know the major principal stress equation: uh, 16 pi d cube into capital M plus uh, square root of m square plus t square. Um, by substituting the values in this equation, you can get a maximum principal stress. Whereas a minor principal stress can be found out by an equation uh, as 16 divided by pi d cube into uh, capital M minus square root of m square plus t square. Um, by substituting uh, m t and d value you can get a minor principal stress then uh, position of plane given by an uh, equation uh, tan 2 theta which is equal to t divided by m and then uh, find out the value of uh, 2 theta then uh, take theta as inverse of tan mm. um, which uh, theta can be obtained as 28 degree 59.84 minute uh, or uh, you can represent uh, that as in um, 198 degree then uh, power transmitted by shaft power transmitted by shaft can be represented as like in previous case um, torque into angular speed uh, torsion into angular speed angular speed can be represented as 2 pi n uh, 2 pi n into tau into divided by 60 where n is the number of rpm of the shaft t is the mean torque of the shaft where uh, <coughs> omega is the angular speed then uh, power transmitted by the shaft can be given as a uh, hollow shaft of external diameter 120 mm transmits uh, 300 kilowatt power at uh, 200 rpm determine the maximum internal diameter if the maximum stress in the shaft does not exceed uh, 60 mega pascal mm. uh, the power transmitted by shaft can be calculated uh, by this problem where uh, external dia d not is equal to 120 mm then power transmitted is uh, 300 kilowatt Speed n is 200 rpm. Mm, maximum shear stress uh, tau can be given in problem as 60 uh, mega pascal, uh, where d is the internal dia of the shaft. Uh, power transmitted p is uh, calculated by formula 2 pi nt divided by 60, mm, where the uh, by substituting the value of p as uh, 300 kilowatt and uh, torque uh, number of rpm. Sorry, rpm value as 200. Find out the torque value. <coughs> Then you know the Uh, half our hollow shaft torque value t is equal to pi by 16 into tau into d naught power 4 minus di power 4 divided by d naught 
um, by substituting the value of uh, torque which is obtained by above uh, value and the torque is given in the maximum shear stress is given in the problem as 60 and uh, external dia 120 mm is given then find out the di value from which you can calculate internal diameter of uh, uh, hollow shaft as 88.5 mm and then uh, power transmitted by shafts uh, find the maximum shear stress induced in a solid circular shaft of diameter of 15 centimeter when the shaft transmit uh, 150 kilowatt power at 180 rpm uh, Power transmitted P is again 150 kilowatt and um, speed of the shaft is 180 rpm. Uh, power P value is given by T into torque into angular speed omega, uh, which can be given as 2 pi into 180 into T divided by 60. Um, by substituting the value of P and N, you can find out the torque value that is maximum torque value. Um, once you find out the maximum torque value, then uh, you know for a solid circular shaft t value can be obtained as pi by 16 into pi d cube sorry tau t cube by substituting the value of uh, torque from above and diameter value which is given in the problem find out the maximum shear stress in the shaft hmm. that is you are applying uh, only two kind of formulas hmm. then uh, third problem uh, here uh, a solid steel shaft has to transmit 75 kilowatt at 200 rpm the allowable shear stress is 70 Newton per mm square. Uh, the find the suitable diameter for the shaft if the maximum torque transmitted at each revolution is exceeded by mean of uh, 30 percentage. Mm. You know the power is given as 75 kilowatt. Uh, RPM of the shaft is given as uh, 200. Uh, shear stress at tau is given as 70 Newton per mm square. And then uh, tau max, which is uh, given as 1.3 times the mean torque. In this problem, only mean torque is given as uh, in the terms of uh, tau max. Mm, the suitable diameter of the shaft, you know, the power transmitted is nothing but torque into angular speed. Angular speed can be represented as 2 pi n divided by 60 by substituting the value of power transmitted p value and uh, n, uh, number of RPM. Mm, substitute that in uh, this power equation here then find out the value of t once if you get a t value again substitute uh, in the uh, t max which is uh, nothing but 1.3 times the mean value whatever the t value you are finding is mean torque transmitted mm, uh, then uh, maximum torque can be obtained by the formula t max which is nothing but uh, 30 percent higher than the mean from which you can calculate maximum torque transmitted by the solid shaft mm, t max uh, which is equal to pi by 16 into tau into t cube from which uh, substituting t max and uh, tau value you can calculate the diameter of the shaft and then uh, uh, i can wait for okay i will complete then i will wait for another uh, more minutes uh, there are two cases that i'm going to discuss one is uh, when shafts connected in series and uh, when shafts connected in the parallel uh, for the first case, shafts in serial, uh, series, um, the shafts are subjected to same torque. Uh, you can see a picture given below where there are two different diameters of the shafts are given. Uh, having two different uh, diameter and uh, two different length. The equation for uh, shafts in series, uh, torque uh, T in first shaft uh, is nothing but tau 1 J1 divided by R1 which is equal to tau 2 j2 divided by r2 that is a uh, torque in both uh, um, shafts are same hence uh, tau 1 divided by tau 2 which is equal to uh, j2 r1 divided by j1 r2 mm, then uh, the twist of two shafts can be related by the uh, simplifying the torsional equation theorem uh, which is nothing but uh, t divided by um, j1 which is equal to g1 divided by g1 theta 1 divided by uh, L1, where L1 is the length of the shaft, theta1 is the angular twist of the first shaft alone. Whereas G1 is uh, modulus of rigidity of first uh, shaft, uh, where J1 is a polar moment of inertia of first shaft, uh, from which you can calculate theta1. Similarly, for the second shaft, uh, the angular twist, length of the shaft, uh, modulus of rigidity of the shaft, and the polar moment of the shaft can be varied. Hence, 
it can be given as theta 2 in terms of t l2 divided by g2 j2 uh, therefore you can have an uh, ratio of theta 1 divided by theta 2 uh, then um, if both shafts are solid circular shaft you can have j1 and j2 value substitute the j1 j2 in the above equation and simplify it you can get theta 1 divided by theta 2 in the terms of uh, ratio of their radius r2 divided by r1 uh, whole power cube in some textbook they are mentioning this, this in the terms of uh, uh, diameter of the shaft also oh, there is no issue you can simplify this also uh, similarly angle of twist are uh, related by um, in terms of uh, theta 1 divided by theta 2 by substituting this uh, <coughs> value you can get uh, uh, l1 g2 into r2 divided by r1 whole power 4 divided by l2 divided l2 g1 uh, total angle of twist in both uh, shafts are given as theta 1 plus theta 2 which can be summarized as uh, t into l1 divided by g1 r1 sorry g1 j1 plus l2 divided by g2 j2 uh, this is the total angle of shift in uh, shafts in series uh, you see the problem um, a hollow circular copper shaft of 60 mm external and 30 mm internal diameter and a steel solid shaft of uh, uh, 50 mm radius are rigidly connected in series and subjected to a torque of uh, uh, 5 kilo newton meter uh, determine the maximum stress in the both the shafts which are connected in series uh, where g is given as 80 giga pascal for steel and 40 giga pascal for copper length of copper shaft is 0.5 meter sorry 0.45 meter and that of uh, steel shaft is 0.45 meter uh, let us take uh, torque in steel as ts and torque in copper as tc uh, which is nothing but TS plus TC is equal to 500 in sorry 5000 uh, Newton mm uh, kilo Newton mm polar moment of inertia for copper shaft is found out and the polar moment of uh, steel shaft is found out by knowing the diameter of uh, uh, steel and copper shaft in the share of the applied torque in, is governed by the condition that angle of twist must be same at the junction uh, therefore angle of twist theta s of steel shaft can be calculated as ts into uh, uh, that corresponding <coughs> sorry length divided by modulus of rigidity into uh, polar moment of inertia similarly for uh, copper shaft also the value can be found out uh, then uh, uh, if you relate uh, both sol uh, sil sorry steel and uh, copper uh, you can get uh, in the terms of uh, Mm, uh, relation as a TC, TS that is a torsion in circular shaft which is equal to 1.028 times of the uh, uh, torque in uh, silver sorry torque in copper uh, if you add up both you can get the total torque as uh, 5000 kilo newton mm then substitute that value there, there and find out individual torque in steel and copper once if you find out individual uh, stresses uh, to, sorry <coughs> uh, uh, torque value in steel and copper then it is easy for you to calculate maximum stress in the uh, steel and copper uh, by using basic uh, your uh, torsional theory formula then uh, shafts in uh, parallel uh, two shafts are said to be in parallel configuration when uh, shaft is placed surrounding the second shaft uh, the difference between the shaft in series and the shaft in parallel is that fact that uh, torque carried in the same in series cases while the applied torque is shared by the two shafts in the same proportion parallel cases uh, where in case of parallel shaft whatever the torque you are applied which is uh, taken care equally by two shafts uh, which is uh, connected parallelly uh, then uh, equation for uh, shafts in parallel uh, you can get uh, value of uh, torque uh, torsion uh, in both uh, shaft 1 and shaft 2 which is connected uh, this diagram is wrong it is represented as a uh, uh, series uh, so kindly ignore this uh, picture uh, then uh, calculate <coughs> torsion and uh, angular twist for uh, shafts in parallel uh, if you take a problem with respect to two shafts which is connected parallel a solid circular sh steel shaft of diameter 20 mm is enclosed with a brass hollow sh circular shaft of external diameter 30 mm and internal diameter 20 mm if the two shafts are rigidly connected and the angle of uh, twist to torque is uh, 
potent newton meter uh, is 2 degree in the length of 300 mm find the value of g for the brass if g for the steel is 80 uh, giga pascal also find the maximum shear stress in the two materials uh, hmm. the case for 30 mm is shown here uh, the total torque is uh, uh, 14 uh, mega pascal uh, 14 uh, kilo newton meter uh, sorry kilo newton mm where polar moment of uh, ratio steel is calculated as uh, pi r power 4 divided by 2 um, polar moment of shaft is calculated uh, similarly uh, if the torques of the <coughs> shafts by two shafts that is uh, brass and steel shafts um, which is summation by ts plus tb uh, which will give total uh, torque value in the shafts the angular twist of the steel shaft is uh, given as <coughs> ts into 300 300 uh, uh, that is uh, the value of your uh, uh, diameter uh, sorry length diameter uh, t into l divided by g into theta that value is uh, substituting here and equating those two degree uh, angle of test is uh, two degree in the length of 300 mm or 0 0.0349 radian in 300 mm uh, then calculate the ts value that is a torsion in uh, steel and a torsion in brass separately Mm, and uh, find out the value of uh, G value in <coughs> brass. Uh, modulus of rigidity of brass is founded as uh, 36 megapascal approximately. Uh, okay. Uh, with this, uh, uh, I want to conclude uh, this session on series in shafts. Uh, here, I want to say that uh, you, you want to remember uh, uh, two formulas again. One is on uh, uh, major principle stresses, sorry, uh, here um, maximum shear stress theory and uh, maximum normal stress theory uh, from which you can calculate uh, the stresses on both the material using equivalent twisting moment and uh, equivalent bending moment theorem. Okay? From which you can calculate uh, uh, the bending requirement. They will ask generally uh, to calculate uh, the theta value or tau value or power value. That's, uh, that's how the problem statement is. If it is in the case of uh, a hollow circular shaft, they will ask you, you to calculate the outer dia or inner dia. They will give you some proportion. Uh, in rare case, they will give uh, you to calculate the modulus of rigidity of different material if the lengths are same. That's for the case uh, with respect to the second topic. From this, I can conclude uh, my session on second topic. Mm, as I said earlier, uh, apart from this topic, also I'm working on uh, uh, several uh, whatever the topics we discussed here. I'm open to discuss about uh, whatever the research I'm going on. Uh, I'm also ready to collaborate whatever work you are doing with. We can have a discussion on all those uh, topics. Madam? Yeah, so dear participants, do you have any queries? No, ma'am. Okay, once again, I want to thank the opportunity given by Madam Kuda, Madam, uh, to present in uh, such a scenario, such a forum, uh, to express whatever I learned so far. Um, if you needed my email address, I will post my email address in uh, chat box so that you can contact me if you have any clarification. Even I will post my number to there. This number is my WhatsApp number also.
okay sir thank you very much so yeah, okay. thank you for the uh, detailed explanation of all the problems so hope it was useful thank you, for all the participants thank you very much sir ah uh, thank you thank you thank you ma'am uh, i want to once again thank uh, kunda madam for giving me this opportunity to deliver uh, whatever i have learned uh, so far with respect to strength of materials thing uh, and also apart from that uh, if you had any discussion i am here here i also shared my email and uh, whatsapp number yeah thank you dr jagdish for joining with us today yeah thank you yeah thank you thank you madam yeah thank you sir